Alright guys, today I wanted to make a video on one of Europe's up-and-coming young talents and that is new Southampton signing Armel Belakotchap who has previously spent a few years at VfL Bochum in, well, for the first couple of seasons of his professional career he was playing in the Schweizer Bundesliga and but last season Bochum got promoted to the top tier of German football, the Bundesliga. And he had a really solid campaign, um, playing the vast majority of Bochum's games and played really well uh, for Bochum. Um, and also made a few appearances for Germany's under-21 side. And obviously Germany are well known as being one of the most um, depth-filled de uh, national teams in world football, probably along with France, England... Spain, uh, Brazil, and and a few others. Um, so to to be in the under twenty ones team, that that's an impressive achievement in itself. So the type of player he is is he's a centre back who is um, very strong in tackle and quite aggressive, but also good with the ball at his feet, very comfortable with the ball at his feet. Um, so it, it, the the Bundesliga did suit him as well. He's quite athletic, also. He's got he's got a yard of pace on him. So in theory, he should be all right in the Premier League as well, because he's going to need that pace to play in the Premier League. Um, so it, in for Southampton, the team he's joining, you, you would I I don't know if he's going to be a starter straight away. It might take a bit of time for him to uh, become a regular starter, but. Southampton play a 4-4-2 formation, or at least they have done the past couple of years. Um, so he, you'd imagine if he was to uh, come into the starting eleven, he would be either replacing uh, Jan Bednarek or Mohamed Salisu, who had a really good season last year. So Bednarek is probably the one who's um, under a bit of pressure to maintain his uh, position in the starting eleven. Um, although he has been in Southampton starting 11 in a while now, it's got to be at least four years, I reckon. Um, yes, yeah, so, so that, that, that's where he sh should, in theory, play for Southampton. Um, he, I, I personally think he, he will do well in the Premier League. I've seen him play a few times and um, I, I, I think the attributes that he possesses definitely suit Premier League football in, in terms of like just the power that he has, the speed, strength and also the ability to play with the ball, to, to uh, play the ball like out from defence as well, which so the way Southampton play, it, it's um, it, it's a very German style of football like um, obviously Hassan Hüttel is, uh, I don't, I, I think he managed it in Germany at some point, but Austria is obviously um, heavily connected to German football, so um, they're, they're similar styles of play, and that that is uh, that that will help Bella Kotchap, I, I personally think, because Hassan Hüttel's style of play is very uh, explosive, in, and and we saw that multiple occasions last season. It's I think the best example of it is uh, probably. Um, against Manchester City at St Mary's in January, I think it was, in a 1-1 draw. Southampton were brilliant that game and took the lead early on through a car walk, Peter's goal. And, but yeah, just played really well. Um, but also Southampton have a tendency to concede a lot of goals in a single game, um, as they've shown on many occasions the past few years, Leicester at home, Man United away in, in the past two or three years, and also uh, last season against Chelsea at home. So they they, they can concede a few quite a few goals, and hopefully Bellicott chap for them will um, go some way to preventing that happening. Um, I I think they it might just be one of those things that is happens with their system, but. I think Bella Kotchak will be a very good signing for Southampton and I think he'll have a very good career in the Premier League. Still only 20 years of age, so he's doing very well. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.